So what are those three? What ma'am? What are the hormones of insulin? Sorry, sorry. What are the endocrine hormones secreted by pancreas? Yes. Yes, very good. Any other answers? So it is glucagon, insulin, and somatostatin. And what are the cells which are producing glucagon, insulin, and somatostatin? Ma'am, can you repeat the question, please? Yes. What are the cells producing glucagon, insulin, and somatostatin? Is it uh... mm, alpha, beta, delta? Yes, it's very simple. Okay. So today we are going to learn a very, very important system. I can say the most important system of our body. Any guesses? Cardiovascular system. Yeah, it is also very important. But it's not. <laughs> you are almost right, but we are going to learn today the nervous system, the controlling system of our body without which we are in uh, we may be uh, in our heart may pump but without a nervous system there is no value of our body So, a heart is also pumping with the control and coordination of nervous system only. Okay. So, we are going to learn today about nervous system which is controlling each and every part of our body. As like a school is controlled by principal or headmaster and there are another teachers assistant teachers pgt tgt students staff workers non non teaching staff so many things are there in a school but it is controlled by the principal or the headmaster like that only there are several systems in our body but the head or the principle is our brain as like in our country in any country which is democratic there are so many states and they have their chief ministers so many ministers and those states are divided into districts, blocks, panchayat, municipality. But they have their localized system. But all those localized system collectively controlled by prime minister. Right? Like we are being controlled by our panchayat or municipality. 
local but all the uh, instructions they follow are from the central government the central government is instructing anything and all the local governments are following that like that only in our body central nervous system is actually deciding all the things and the peripheral body is following the instruction of central nervous system okay so let me share the screen i hope you can see my screen yes ma'am yeah. so nervous system what is nervous system uh means uh, nervous system is also being completed by endocrine system right so uh, system we can see neurons and they generate nerve impulses and in endocrine system we have seen hormones right in just last class we have completed our endocrine system so in endocrine system we have seen the work of hormones so work of hormones are a bit slow but nerve impulses are very very fast as light when our um, our hand is feeling heat is uh, just for example uh a vessel or a pot is put on your gas and that vessel or pot becomes so so much hot that it it can't be touched and your hand by mistake have touched the vessel or pot immediately you remove your hands right so that is the reflex of nervous system it works immediately nerve impulses originate immediately you get your information from nervous system immediately that please remove your hand otherwise it will burn out right so nervous system is that first but endocrine system is not that first it will first release the hormones in blood then the hormone will go to target site then it will walk it it takes a bit time and when the hormones are uh, made for taking time like growth hormone then they will take years and years okay so this nervous system and endocrine system makes together neuroendocrine system which is maintaining the homeostasis homeostasis of body it's detect and respond to changes inside and outside the body okay so what example we have seen just right now the heating of uh, touching the uh, too much heated vessel or pot that is uh, performed outside body outside our environment is happening something that is not tolerable for us and we are getting removed our hand from that thing but inside our bodies in such things happen obviously um, so many things are happening inside body you can understand that uh, endocrine and neural nervous system works in such a way right means like, like uh we are uh, doing some intense physical exercise or physical activity or any physical work we need glucose so at that time nervous system will will recommend liver to please release glucagon and 
glucagon will be converted to glucose so there are, there are changes like this many more types of changes inside body and body you know that it is depicting the whole universe so it is not possible to learn the whole body as it is but we will try to learn so beside helping to maintain homeostasis so what what neuroendocrine system is doing neuroendocrine system is maintaining the homeostasis and what is homeostasis homeostasis it detect the response to change inside and outside the body anything changing inside and outside the body that are being detected and the regularity of normal body is being maintained by neuroendocrine system so beside helping to maintain homeostasis nervous system also responsible for memories behavior perce uh, perceptions initiates all voluntary movements okay so when nervous system is with endocrine system it is maintaining the whole body with homeostasis but beside homeostasis nervous system is also responsible for our memories what we remember for short term or long term our behavior how we behave to each and every particle of world perceptions how we perceive anything you i think you all know that uh, same thing is perceived differently by different person means if you put a picture in front of two persons then uh, those two persons will take different meaning from the same picture that is perception right initiates uh, all the voluntary movements yes nervous system initiates all the voluntary movement any voluntary movement we are performing in our whole body is originated from or initiated from nervous system now what is neurology neurology is the branch of medical science that deals with functioning and disorders of nervous system so if any um, disorder or discomfort or uh, any mishappening happens with nervous system then the branch of medical science which are going to deal with that problems are known as neurology and the person or the physician which is going to deal with those problems and treat the patient is known as neurologist okay we have the specialization for the diseases of nervous system so now we will learn about the parts of nervous system so uh, generally the nervous system is divided into two parts primarily that is central nervous system and peripheral nervous system so central nervous system consisting of our brain and spinal cord and peripheral nervous system consisting of cranial and spinal nerves which are outside the central nervous system which are located in the peripheries of our body okay i think you can yeah here oh and here we we'll can get so uh, nervous system is being primarily div divided to central and peripheral central nervous system is including brain and spinal cord okay and peripheral nervous system is including all the nerves which are supplying the information and taking the information from the periphery of body please answer me 
what central nervous system is containing or consisting brain and spinal cord yeah very good so central nervous system and peripheral nervous system are the two uh, two primary uh, divisions of nervous system so central nervous system consists of brain containing all the nerves which are giving and taking information from the periphery of our body Hmm. Okay, you know the meaning of uh, central and periphery. Now, periphery is towards the uh, ends of the body, ma'am, like fingers and toes. Yes. Um, just for example, like for example, uh, this is a city, right? And this is the central city and the outside means at the outer part of city this is the periphery of the city okay so this portion is the central portion and this portion is periphery okay so Central nervous system is uh, maintaining, or it is situated at the central portion, and it it is well protected. Right, central nervous system is so soft and delicate, very vital. So it is well protected. What is central nervous system? Consisting of brain and spinal cord, and see that. the brain is well protected by our cranium bones right and the spinal cord is well protected by our vertebra or vertebral column so each and every part of central nervous system is very delicate and they are very well protected by our skeletal system right not only by skeletal system if we go deeper then there are much many things which are protecting the nervous system there are meninges layers of meninges there is cerebrovascular fluid sorry cerebrospinal fluid there are many more fluids and sub subdural space subarachnoid space so many things are there which are protecting the blood brain barrier so many things are there which are protecting our central nervous system and they need to be protected as like our prime minister having z plus security prime minister or president having z plus security because they need that security they are like president of a country is the number one citizen of a country they need to be protected right means if a person if a layman of a country is um, is moving without security and they are getting they they are getting killed by killed or murdered then only their family is going to be affected which is very uh, which is not very good that is means every person is important but if we see uh, in a view of a country as a gross then if a layman is getting murdered or killed or getting injured getting affected by anything country will go on nothing will happen to the country hey okay. yes the family is going to be in sorrow the i don't know what what is going to happen because every person is important by its own but the thing is i am talking about the whole country so in case of that if prime minister or president of country 
is getting any harm then it will affect the whole country because they are to and they ma'am i think your voice is breaking uh, can others also tell if ma'am's voice is breaking yeah 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 is it okay now yeah only if you speak a sentence we will know ma'am yes now only it, now only it is breaking ma'am but before it was good so it is okay now right yes ma'am yeah right now it's okay ma'am okay. okay so what was i telling that uh, for a country a central nervous system like president or prime minister is very important and they need z plus security because they work so much for uh, for a country and if they stop working for only a day it will affect a lot for country right like that only our nervous system is very well protected and they need the protection they need the z plus security otherwise if they stop working for a day it will not work our body will be made and the we declare the person is dead because of brain death okay even the heart is beating if the person uh, if the person's brain is not working if any part of the body is not responding it's declared by the doctor that the brain of that person has been dead so brain death occurred okay so uh, these delicate nervous system is having two parts central and peripheral and i hope you understood about the um, concept of central and peripheral so let me take once more that central nervous system is brain sorry brain and spinal cord okay so let's imagine that this is this one is brain and this is spinal cord okay so this is at the central this is brain and this is spinal cord so this is at the central and the periphery is the nerves that are getting emitted from central nervous system so much branches of nerves are getting emitted so these are the peripheral nervous system okay these are peripheral these are peripheral and this one is central yeah these are peripheral which is in which are in periphery and this one is central okay ma'am what is cranial ma'am cranial plus nervous system is from the skull whatever yes please repeat ma'am i was asking uh, uh, 
I understood brain plus spinal cord, ma'am. I also understood spinal nerves. When we say cranial plus spinal nerves, what what exactly uh, cranial uh, conveys, ma'am? Is it in the head? Yes, yes. The cranial nerves are those nerves which are either uh, emitting from brain or getting emerged into brain. Means. Uh, those nerves which are originating from brain, either originating from brain or inserting into brain. Those nerves are known as cranial nerves. And other nerves of the body other than cranial nerves are spinal nerves. Those nerves which are not directly uh, directly in touch with cranium are originated from spinal cord. So nerves which are originating from spinal cord, those nerves are known as spinal nerves. Okay. Let me take the pencil. So this is brain and this is spinal cord. For example, those nerves are originating from brain are known as cranial nerve. Okay. And those nerves which are originating from spinal cord are known as spinal nerves. Okay. Yeah, got it, ma'am. So Cranial nerves are 12 in pair. 12 pairs of cranial nerves are present in every mammalian. I hope you understand the word mammalian. Mammalians are those who are breastfeeding animals. Okay. So humans are mammalians. So in human also, there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves and 31 pairs of spinal nerves. So 12 Ma'am, your voice nerves. broke. Ma'am, can you repeat? Uh, is it okay now? Now it is okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. 12 cranial nerves, something you said, ma'am, then? 12 pairs of cranial nerves and 31 pairs of spinal nerves are present in every human being. Okay? Is it okay? Have you got it? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So... Uh, these peripheral nervous system which are consisting of cranial and spinal nerves are further divided into sensory and motor. Okay. Means those nerves which are receiving information those are known as sensory and those nerves which are releasing or uh, delivering information are known as motor nerves. Means for example, you are seeing something from your, through your eyes. So your eyes are sensing the visual sight sight surrounding you so eyes are connected to the brain by optic nerve so the optic nerve is sensory nerve and for example you are um, being no take another example like uh, if a mosquito is biting on your left hand 
okay just beside your wrist a mosquito is biting so how you getting sensed through the receptors of sensory nerve reaching to your wrist is receiving the information so that one is received by sensory nerve and the information is going to central nervous system and from central nervous system in the central nervous system the information is getting processed and the central nervous system will react to motor nervous system and your one of your motor nerve will be getting activated and you will do your action as per your brain tells either you will kill the mosquito or you will throw away the mosquito or you will see that how much blood you, it can suck let it suck let her let her or let him live the life of mosquito right if you are very great so that depends upon your central nervous system so you are getting sensed like any anything sensed from your uh, sensory organs so the sensing is uh, done by sensory or afferent nerves so those nerves which is sensory those are known as afferent nerves and those which are motor known as efferent nerves okay for example any strong um, perfume is there around you and you are getting um, getting smelled by those fragments of perfume so your olfactory nerve which is reaching to your nose nasal cavity will sense the pigments uh, of that perfume and you will sense that something strong is smelling here so that is by sensory nerve that is olfactory known as olfactory nerve and if uh, something you need to do your body needs to do against that like if you if you want to close your nasal cavity by your hands you know, by your palms then you'll close your nose by putting your hand on your nose that is motor motor action so i hope you get the concept of sensory and motor yes ma'am yes ma'am okay so motor is the thing that we are doing with the instruction of our central nervous system so now this motor division is further divided into somatic and autonomic okay so somatic nervous system controls voluntary movements so every action which is done by our body after the sensory nerve is getting sensed or get, getting some information to the central nervous system each and every work done in our body is by motor nervous system but it is not necessary that we are the motor nervous system is acting always um, that we can see or uh, always by our concern or by our will right like sometimes uh sometimes uh, like in digestive system the uh, pancreas need to release the pancreatic juice when the gallbladder need to release the bile juice that is not decided by us 
that is decided by autonomic nervous system which is doing its own and the somatic somatic nervous system is what we can see or what we can do by our will that is voluntary control so simply voluntary control is somatic nervous system and involuntary controls are autonomic nervous system so i hope you can understand what are voluntary controls and what are involuntary controls if there are any confusion in this chart you can ask me immediately okay so there are voluntary yes i tell no ma'am no doubt till now okay so uh, there are voluntary actions what we do by our our own will those are part of somatic nervous system like if we if we fly away the mosquito from our wrist or if we kill the mosquito in our on our wrist then this is this this action will be by somatic nervous system but the peristalsis movement the heart beat all the things inside our body which are done by smooth muscles are autonomic now part of autonomic nervous system now this autonomic nervous system is further divided into sympathetic and parasympathetic these are the two types of autonomic nervous system okay now come to here this chart so uh, our central nervous system is uh, consisting of brain and spinal cord so this chart is a revision of the above chart only so it is integrative and control centers central nervous system is integrative and control centers and peripheral nervous system are consisting of cranial nerves and spinal nerves communicating lines between the cns and rest of the body okay so peripheral nervous system is the bridge between central nervous system and rest of the body as in our whole country we do not connect or we do not talk to the prime minister or the president right there are various means of communicating means if we give vote and we select our representative in our locality and that representative take the problem of our locality and those problems are being represented to the parliament by our representative right like we are giving vote to an mp member of parliament and we are selecting a representative from us and that member of parliament is representing our parliament in the parliament and as the connection is established like that only each and every person uh, every portion of body is getting connected to central nervous system through peripheral nervous system okay now this peripheral nervous system is further divided into sensory and motor sensory nervous system is do uh, that nervous system which is receiving information somatic and visceral sensory nerve fibers conduct impulse from receptors to cns yes so sensory nervous system is receiving the information through receptors and they are conducting that information to central nervous system and motor nervous system are uh, conducting impulses from central nervous system to affecting muscles or glands 
okay so sensory and motor are the two opposite pathways sensory is going towards the central nervous system and motor is coming from the central nervous system okay now this motor nervous system is further divided into autonomic and somatic so autonomic by its name only you can understand it is voluntary by the help of autonomic nervous system we can uh, automatically uh, automatically control our body conduct impulses from cns to cardiac muscles smooth muscles sorry autonomic nervous system is automatic we cannot control right by the name itself you can understand autonomic means it is automatic we cannot do anything in autonomy we don't have any authority to do anything regarding autonomic nervous system go by its own so it is involuntary but somatic nervous system it is voluntary we can do anything we want that is somatic so now this autonomic nervous system is divided further into sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system so sympathetic nervous system mobilizes the body system during energy situations okay so any situation that needs energy that needs to be active is under sympathetic control and when our body is rest they do not need much amount of energy that condition is known as parasympathetic activation okay uh, for example like if you are running at that time you need to be sympathetically active your heart beat will increase your breathing rate will increase your glucose uh, glucose need of the body will increase heart will increase and your metabolic process or digestive process will slow down okay. Your voice this will slow down. Yeah. Your voice is breaking. Any problem? Any problem? Your voice is breaking, madam. Is it okay now? Yeah, madam. Let me see. Okay. So what I was telling to say that sympathetic and parasympathetic. so sympathetic nervous system is that when our body will activate okay so when the body is getting activated then our heart rate our breathing rate uh, and uh, all the things will increase and metabolic rate will decrease and our digestive process will decrease so our body is in activated mode our body is in active mode right we are in stressed condition we are in situation when we need energy our body needs energy that time is known as sympathetic nerve activity activation in sympathetic activation has been occurred and the opposite is parasympathetic activation when when we are in rest when our body is in rest that time is parasympathetic activation then and our body is parasympathetically active means our body is in rest our breathing rate is normal or slow our heart rate is normal or slow our digestive process is going well we do not need much energy 
and metabolic process increases okay so that is why parasympathetic nervous system or parasympathetic activation is also known as rest and digest okay so parasympathetic activation is also known as rest and digest and sympathetic activation is known as fight or flight either you have to flight or you have to fight okay your voice is breaking, madam. Just a minute. What मैं जम ही जाएगी मम्मी कहीं गई होगी दुकान हो गई होगी मोटर चलाने गई होगी बैठ जा अकी लेने बैठ जा बैठ जा अंदर बैठ जा ओके सो वेर वेर वी सो यू गोट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सिंपैथिक एंड पैरासिंपैथिक यस मैम I'm sorry for the condition. Okay. So I think this is enough for today. So I will share the slides and uh, go through the slide or you can also watch the recording or any other thing you are comfortable with. You can also watch your know, good YouTube videos. Close your eyes. Upright your spine, add up Namaskar Mudra in front of your chest and start the prayer. Sarve Bhavant Sukhinaha, Sarve Santo Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu, Ma Kaschit Tukha Bhag Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Let up your palms. Feel the warmth and open your eyes with a smile on your face. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew.